Denmark will not be the biggest badminton contingent at this year's Olympic Games, but they certainly will be one of the strongest medal contenders in Paris. In men's singles, Victor Axelsson and Anders Anderson are ranked in the top five of the race to Paris. In fact, Axelsson's form since winning gold in Tokyo has been nothing short of remarkable. 31 tournaments played, 19 finals contested, 18 titles won. It was all but guaranteed the world's number one place in Paris. In the qualification period for the Olympics, you know, securing or at least trying to, to get a good start is a big advantage because then you can obviously try to pick and choose which tournaments you want to play and if you have a small injury you're not really forced to play because of points etc. Now in the final push to Paris, thoughtful preparation in keeping himself fit and ready will undoubtedly make Axelsson a front runner once more. I will definitely try not to uh, participate in, in too many tournaments. Uh, I will take part in the, in the biggest ones and the ones I, I feel like I, I'm ready for, but, but I will also try to, to definitely uh, stay, you know, stay in, in shape and stay away from injuries. Um, you can only do so much, obviously, but um, I'm hoping that I will be, uh, you know, that I will have some downtime or at least a few blocks with not too many tournaments so I can really prepare. Denmark have also found mighty challenges in the men's doubles discipline. Kim Astrup and Anders Scout Rasmussen are peaking at the right time, winning five titles in six finals in the second half of last year. As a result, the Danes sit comfortably within the top five of the Race to Paris standings. I think we gained a lot of confidence in the, the first two weeks of July with the European Games and the, the Canada Open, uh, which was a huge relief for us to perform two weeks in a row. And then uh, we had a magical week in the, in the World Championship on home soil and uh, yeah, we just kind of stayed humble and uh, kept working hard and uh, we know what it gives us uh, winning matches uh, day in and day out, so we, we want to chase that feeling each and every time. Having already played at the Tokyo Olympics, the world number fours will be counting on their experience as they seek the podium in 2024. Uh, two fouls going to Paris, that's for sure. It means a lot that we have played one Olympics. Uh, we know the feeling and we know the surroundings uh, around an Olympic. It's a, it's a pretty big thing uh, and a lot of pressure. So uh, we know what it takes and uh, hopefully we can uh, perform our best in Paris.